Hey, what's up everyone? This is No Autopilot coming to you with a bit of a special video today. So if you don't know me, let's just like preface that a little bit. I've spent the last three years in gaming. Uh, originally I was a content creator on YouTube covering Web3. I built my channel up to around 5,000 subs or so in about a year and a half. I then moved into working in Web3, doing community partnerships marketing for a couple Silicon Valley based gaming startups. I then went on to form my own Web3 gaming infrastructure company with my co-founder Pradeep. And now I also go ahead and I add in some advisory work and some consulting work for uh, Web2 and Web3 gaming teams. So I'm kind of seeing a situation emerge and I want to kind of share it with you guys, see if you've seen it as well, where it feels like a lot of early stage gaming teams are... Um, repeating the same mistakes, right? And in a world where, you know, most startups fail and you already have like a finite amount of time and a finite amount of money and runway, uh, really some of these hills that these games are dying on, you know, is, is unneeded, unnecessary. So that kind of made me think about like the complication, like why that's happening. And I think my hypothesis is, that there isn't a place for gaming founders, both Web 2, Web 3, to go to feel safe, to be able to open up about the things that they're struggling with across anything in the early stage gaming startup spectrum, right? That could be like product validation, developing an MVP, fundraising, uh, generating your first users, marketing, like whatever. And I think another part of it is, is a lot of these teams don't have a ton of time, right? Because you're busy building to hopefully be able to launch something successful. So that made me think about like, what could I do to try and support these different teams? And what I've landed on is creating a Discord community called the Gaming Startup Collective. So the vision I have for this is there's going to be gated roles for founders slash core team members to be able to open up and talk about any topic uh, that is aligned with like early stage gaming startups. And you'll be able to ask your peers, some of which have maybe already encountered these issues, maybe some that haven't, but you'll be able to get direct and likely very meaningful uh, feedback and tips and suggestions to go ahead and take back to your company to try and, you know, test it, see if it works. Um, in addition to that, I think there's a couple things we can add structure wise to support this a little bit too. So we will have a monthly topic where we choose like one top topic. And not only will we all kind of rally around and like share our thoughts and ideas and suggestions around that. Um, but then I can also reach out to my network of like successful gaming founders who have shipped titles, who have made like millions and millions of dollars to come in as a guest speaker and talk to us directly about what they would do in this scenario or how they would try and overcome this problem or that problem. So yeah, so long story short, I've created Discord, Startup Gaming Collective. I would love if you would come and join in on the conversation. So yeah, so come on through, help us kind of build this community up, open to any ideas, suggestions you have to make it better. And yeah, thanks for watching the video. Thanks. Peace.